Following last night's debate, GP lawmakers and Republican officials held a conference call to discuss strategy moving forward. And now House Speaker Paul Ryan says he will no longer defend Donald Trump or campaign for him. Instead, he's going to focus solely on keeping a Republican majority in the House. Political chief polling analyst Steve Shepard is in Arlington, Virginia, to help us out. Uh, Steve, how big of a deal is it for uh, Paul Ryan to pull out as a campaign surrogate for Donald Trump? Well, on its face, it is, um, you know, not, not really newsy. Look, Paul Ryan has been pretty quiet when it comes to what he thinks about Donald Trump, uh, other than, than endorsing him uh, a few months ago. Uh, that said, he's trying to walk a really thin tightrope here. Uh, Republicans are seeing, since this tape came out on Friday, they see two things in the polling data, as evidenced by a new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll just out about an hour ago. They see Donald Trump's support cratering. Uh, he's down 11 points in a four-way ballot. Uh, it's 14 points in a head-to-head -head matchup with Hillary Clinton. At the same time, they see that Republican voters are largely standing behind Donald Trump. He's over 70 percent of Republicans in that poll. Two-thirds of Republicans want Republican, other Republican candidates to stand by their support of Donald Trump. So he's trying to, to, to some, his critics will say he's trying to have it both ways, but what he's trying to do is keep the support of Donald Trump supporters for House congressional candidates while also allowing some of those members, particularly those in tougher districts, more competitive districts, to distance themselves from Donald Trump. These are districts that if Donald Trump loses by 10, 11 points on Election Day, that Hillary Clinton is going to carry, uh, and those Republican candidates are going to need some of Hillary Clinton's voters to cross over and vote for them. Yeah, it is. Hillary Clinton pointed out last night, uh, if you're a senator and there's a Republican president, uh, you're not going to be able to just ram things home. It really matters who controls uh, the, the, the two houses uh, and also the White House. On the question of the White House, Donald Trump now down 11 points in this most recent poll. Did his debate performance stop that slide? You know, that, that, that's not totally clear yet. This poll was conducted before the debate, uh, but after that tape came out on Friday. So we, do, we don't know yet whether or not that stopped that slide. I think what the way Republican leaders are behaving today indicates that they at least th believe that Donald Trump still has significant support among rank and file Republican voters. Now, we've seen throughout this campaign, as Donald Trump has been capped at a ceiling of 40, 42 percent, that that's not enough for him to win. Uh, the question, did he uh, maybe stop the, some more Republican voters from defecting? That's possible. He took the fight to Hillary Clinton in a way that a lot of those Republican voters who strongly uh, have, a, have a strongly negative opinion of Hillary Clinton probably wanted him to. That said, he probably didn't do anything to attract voters who were undecided or voters who have been swinging between the two candidates or between one of the candidates and a third party candidate. And I think that that's what you're seeing Republican uh, lawmakers like Paul Ryan do today is acknowledge that Donald Trump has not done enough to win this election, but that Republican, uh, other candidates for office of the Republican Party, whether it's Senate candidates, House candidates, gubernatorial candidates, they can't win their competitive races without also turning out Donald Trump supporters. But, but Steve, there's one data point that I really want to drill down on, and that is the support that Donald Trump enjoys, or rather does not enjoy, among Republican, registered Republicans. So you mentioned uh, 72, 73 percent of the uh, Republicans still support Donald Trump. That means one in four do not. That strikes me as an extraordinary figure. One in four registered party members not supporting the nominee in the party. Does that strike you as a big deal? Absolutely. In, in modern elections in this polarized country, uh, both in, in 2012 and 2008, uh, the candidates won more than 90 percent of people who identified with their party. So Barack Obama won uh, between 90 and 95 percent of Democrats. Mitt Romney won between 90 and 95 90 and 95 percent of Republicans on Election Day in 2012. Now you could have an election where Hillary Clinton carries 90 percent of Democrats and Donald Trump struggles to carry 75 or 80 percent of Republicans. Uh, that seems to be the way we're going right now. Donald Trump has uh, polarized even the Republican Party inside the Republican Party. And it's interesting the voters that he's losing within that coalition. He's losing uh, women more than men among Republicans, and he's losing college educated Republicans more than those with less education. Uh, these are the fractures that Republicans are going to have to find a way to pick up the pieces and move forward in 2017 if Donald Trump does indeed lose, which I think Paul Ryan's statement today indicates he thinks is, is, is either very likely or almost certain at this point. Now, and Steve, just one more question. And I'll let you go. Uh, the most recent videotape, uh, or the Friday night videotape, 
Donald Trump talking in lewd terms about women. That seems to have affected his poll numbers. And now, of course, there are additional tapes coming out, the most recent uh, from New Zealand. Again, he's describing uh, uh, himself as quite the womanizer. Has the ceiling been found yet when it comes to that kind of negative sound from Donald Trump, or will voters continue to uh, uh, evaporate if more tapes come out? I, I certainly think if, if there are more that either prove a pattern of behavior or uh, behavior that is worse than what was on that initial tape, that that could certainly erode further uh, some of his support. Look, Donald Trump does have a core group of committed supporters, but as we're seeing now, the percentage of Republicans in the NBC News Wall Street Journal poll supporting him, fewer than 75 percent, that's down about 10 points. Even if he loses another 5 to 10 points among Republicans, he'll still win a majority of Republicans. But now we're talking about a, a president, major party presidential candidate who would struggle to win 35 to 40 percent of the vote nationally. Uh, that's amazing. You know, it, we, it, we saw that with Bob Dole in, in 1996 when you had Ross Perot on the ballot. But really, you have to go back to George McGovern. You have to go back to Barry Goldwater, maybe Walter Mondale, to find uh, support this low for a major party candidate. And if these trends keep up, uh, future commentators will, will be saying, we have to go all the way back to the election of 2016 to see poll numbers <laughs> this low. Uh, Steve Shepard from Politico, I really appreciate you walking us through this. Thank you. My pleasure.